Jack Smith asks, Hey Jason, I have a question. What's the name of the, the brand of the white watch you wear? I hope you answer this in the Q&A because you never do. Thanks. Surprisingly, this is something that a lot of people ask. They all want to know what kind of watch it is. It's a Nixon watch. It's called the Newton. N-E-W-T-O-N. If you just Google Nixon Newton, it's the first link. It's probably gonna be around like a buck 25 US. So it's not too expensive. Caesar Octavio asks, I know this question is off topic, but when it comes to teasing, what can I do when a girl tells me that my tease was so rude? It happens to me a lot of times, please any help. Well, it's kind of hard to answer this question because I've never heard how you actually tease the girl. So I don't know if you're, you're teasing in a very odd manner or if you're being a dick. This comes down to two videos you may want to look into. The teasing video, which explains how to tease correctly, and the calibration video, which talks about how to feel out the conversation to know when to push forward and to pull back. To make it easier on yourself, try teasing her in a slightly less harsh way. And if they're still saying you're very rude, then try lightening the uh, harshness a little more until you get to a point that they aren't saying it anymore and it's just laughter. B Snyder 272 asks, have you ever tried to pick up a girl that knew who you were through simple pickup? If so, how did it go? Did you still get her number? Surprisingly, the girls that recognize us through simple pickup are more intrigued. They wanna know more about what we do, how often it works, how it works, and they're more likely to go out with us. So in short, they're surprisingly more down. Sony asks, Jason, give me some fucking tips on how to pick up girls in gym. Well, that wasn't very nice. When it comes to girls at the gym, they're easy. Everyone makes it seem like it's so hard because they're so difficult to talk to, but those are the dumb people who actually approach them while they're doing a workout. Why don't you wait until they go and get water? Why don't you wait until they're about to leave? Or catch them when they're walking in. Whenever they're not lifting up dumbbells or doing leg machines, talk to them. One thing to keep in mind, they're going to feel insecure about the fact that they are probably smelly or sweaty and they aren't gonna like that. That's usually why they don't wanna talk to you. You can say something like, listen, I know girls usually don't like to get hit on at the gym. You're sweaty, I'm sweaty. It's okay, I understand that. But the fact is, your face is still cute and I do want to get to know you, so, Give me a couple minutes to get to know you, and then we'll exchange numbers and I will have a full-on conversation with you later. Now, you don't have to use that verbatim, but something along those lines will work. It's easy. It's not as hard as everyone makes it seem. Bros Before Hoes asks, Hey Jason, random question. Just wondering what is the best way to handle a really bitchy mother hen at the club? Last night I met this awesome girl, but out of the blue, her bitchy friend pulled her away saying we we're going to the bathroom. This has happened a lot, please help. All right, so when there's a mother hen, what I like to do is call her out as a mother hen. No girl likes to be that girl. So if you call her out for acting like a mother hen, she'll take a step back and, and realize, oh wait, I am being a cock block slash mother hen. Maybe I should give them a chance. I usually say something along the lines of, you are being a mother hen and ruining our relationship. What if we fall in love? What if you're ruining future marriages right now? Now, you obviously have to say this with a slight smile so she knows you're joking. And from there, you can kind of make friends with her or she might just walk away. And then you'll be able to talk to your girl again. And that's, that's something that works pretty often when we're out in the street and they can hear what I'm saying. The problem is if you're in a club, then what you may have to do is something a little more concise so maybe you can just go up to the mother hen, put your finger up and just say five minutes, five minutes, or even two minutes. Hope she gives you the two minutes. If she still persists, talk to your girl, try to convince her to stay and tell her friend to leave. And if you can't convince her, then I mean, you're shit out of luck. Santi Jr. asks, how do I deal with the fact that I'm not photogenic? It's like when I look in the mirror, I find myself okay and good looking, but once a picture of me is taken, I feel so ugly when I look at it, and this kills my mood to go out and talk to girls. I mean, I know lots of people like me too, but I need a solution for this problem, thanks. Who gives a shit about how you look in pictures? If you look in the mirror, which is a reflection of what you actually look like, that's what you're gonna look like when you go out. It doesn't matter if a picture got a bad angle of your face or there is bad lighting, you made an ugly face and it's stuck because it's a picture. 
Who gives a fuck? That's not what you actually look like. You personally need to know what you look like and be comfortable with that. Whether you're a 10 or a 2, it doesn't matter. You cannot change the way you look. Unless you want to spend thousands of dollars paying for plastic surgery, which is really dumb in my mind. Stop worrying about pictures. If you think you look good in person, why does it matter what you look like in pictures? That girl is going to see who you look like in real life face to face and that's what she's going to be interested in. I doubt she's going to open up your Facebook while you guys are talking, look at your pictures and be like, oh my God, you are so unphotogenic. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. You are disgusting. That would never happen. So stop letting that hold you back from going out and talking to girls. Will asks, are you guys going to be doing this even when you're really old? Like how to pick up girls in the nursing home when you're old? Well, I mean, if she's doing a good job scrubbing my balls and in between my cheeks, I might pay her a compliment or two. Wanna be cool guy asks, Hey Jason, you said to pick up one girl when you're approaching a group of hot girls. What if she said she had a boyfriend? How do you switch to another girl? Can I ask who has a boyfriend first? What else can I do? All right, well, if you're really ballsy, you can straight up move to the next girl and talk to her as if you've never approached the first girl at all. If you're going to do this move, you have to believe that it does not matter that you're switching girls because if they sense any hesitation, it's done. You have to be 100% confident in what you're doing. But if you don't want to switch over to another girl without a transition, here's something I used to do. Let's say this is a girl and she's the one with the boyfriend, but I want to talk to her right here. I want to switch over to her. I would whisper something like, does your friend over there have a boyfriend? And she can either say yes or no. If she says no, go approach that girl and talk to her. That's a very friendly transition into talking to another girl. If this girl says yes, that doesn't stop you from asking this girl if she has a boyfriend anyway. If she says yes as well, well, move on, who cares? If she says no, then approach her and continue talking to her. Lex8 asks, how long should a coffee date last? Should you say I can only stay for half an hour and leave when your time is up? Dates in general should last as long as they have to. The only time you should leave is if you have some previous plan set and you have an obligation to go or the conversation is getting so dull that you have to leave. But even then you can still say you had fun and that you want to set up another day that you guys can hang out. You should never be worried about how long a date is going to last. It'll end when the conversation starts to slow down. You guys will both feel it. Now, what I want you to do is try to push that interaction further every time. So when you feel like it's getting dull, try to stick it out a little bit longer. So if your peak is 30 minutes, try to stay for a little bit longer and continue a conversation. Strengthen your conversational skills so that you can last longer for the next date. I want you to get to a point where you no longer have a fear of how long a date might last. Bro Montana asks, Hey guys, what is your opinion on using Facebook to connect with a girl if a face-to-face -face interaction is not possible at first? Or is using Facebook fucking creepy and stalkerish? This isn't creepy or stalkerish unless you make it creepy and stalkerish. I have a buddy of mine that gets two to three new girls a week from Facebook. He goes on, he adds a friend of a friend who's a hot girl, starts chatting him up, meets up with them the next night or that same night. This isn't something that I personally do, but I do know of a lot of guys that successfully get laid a lot from Facebook. Anders asks, what do you do and what's your mentality if you approach the same girl twice or more by mistake? Example, you approach a girl from behind and when she turns around, it's the same girl you approached a few days ago. This will surely happen if you're going 150% and approach as much as possible. What do you do? You approach her again. That has happened to me an unimaginable amount of times. You will approach the same girl over and over again if you are going out as often as we do. Sometimes they'll remember who you were and tell you you talked to them a couple days ago. And sometimes they will completely forget that you guys had a conversation earlier and you can approach them again as if that's the first time you've ever met. Just because you remember them doesn't necessarily mean that they remember you. This happens to us at night as well. We've mentioned this before. We'll go up to a girl in the beginning of the night, they'll blow us off. A few hours later, we're in the same club, we'll meet up with that same girl, and now she's down. She didn't even remember us approaching her in the beginning. This happens to each and every one of us all the time, and that's never an excuse not to approach a girl.